Dr. Mike Scordo from Sloan Kettering and I had uh, decided that we didn't know enough about primary CNS lymphoma as well as how the autologous transplants are conditioned. We know that primary CNS lymphoma is a rare extranodal lymphoma. Um, we know that treatment with methotrexate-based regimens is pretty universal and has fairly good outcomes, but the consolidation strategies are are not uniform. Um, many centers will use radiotherapy, others will use non-myeloblative chemotherapy. But lately, the autologous stem cell transplantations have been catching favor and their use is increasing. So what we found out at our own center at the University of Miami is that even among our providers, sometimes we use different regimens and we looked for comparative data specifically between two regimens, which included a thiotepa busulfan cyclophosphamide, or TBC, and thiotepa carmustine. And we really couldn't find anything. This prompted the study to kind of see, through a retrospective CIBMTR database, if we could determine which regimen provided better outcomes. So Dr. Scordo had the same idea. We presented our proposal, and through the CMDR, uh, CIBMTR data, we, we looked at these outcomes, including a beam group, uh, BEAM is what we classically use for uh, systemic DLBCL lymphomas. Comparing the three groups, we found that the thiotepa-based regimens, which are TBC and thiotepa carmustine, fared better in terms of progression-free survival as well as overall survival as compared to the BEAM group. And when we tried to look at it in further detail, it looks like that TBC was associated with a little bit more non-relapse mortality. It seemed to be a tougher regimen for, for patients to handle, especially those who are a little bit older or had more comorbidities. However, it also had a signal that there were less relapses with it. We found that the outcomes between the two thiotepa groups were similar, though. Compared to the BEAM group, they seem to provide better progression-free as well as overall survival. So our takeaway right now is, is that we should use thiotepa-based conditioning regimens for primary CNS lymphoma patients as consolidation.